This video is going to go over how to create a square section head that doesn't have the gap. If any of you have tried to create a section head that's a square, you might have ended up with a gap between the line and the square itself. So I'll show you how we can avoid doing that. So right now I'm just going to place, you know, our standard section. Now to modify this, I'm going to go down on my browser and I'm going to go to my annotation symbols and I'm going to find whichever one I want to change. Or you can open one from the Imperial Library. It's kind of up to you. So then I'm going to right click and edit. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn on all of your annotations. So through Visibility Graphics, you want to make sure that you turn on, there aren't any automatic sketch dimensions, but I'll turn them on anyways. So now you can see these reference planes. Now, I'll show you how to go about this the wrong way first, so you can see what happens if you move this line. And then I'll come back and I'll show you how to create it, you know, the proper way. So let's kind of get rid of all this stuff in here. And these guys. And I'll go ahead and leave that line. So for most of us, the instinct is probably, if you even turn on the reference planes, is to move this line. So I'm going to move it out of the way first, and then I'm going to change my units to inches. And then I'll just go ahead and dimension it so you guys can see what size I want this to be. Now if you created one that was the same size, which is a half an inch, then you won't have this issue. But if you're trying to make one bigger or smaller, smaller probably being more likely, um, you're going to end up with a gap. So I'm just going to draw a square here. So let's make it 3 eighths all the way around. Let's go ahead and shorten this line. And we'll drag these guys over. And I'm just going to load it into that project. I've just got a test project open that I started with the out-of-the-box template. So we'll overwrite it. And you can see that there's a gap here. And I can't do anything about it. I can't fix that. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go in and fix that annotation symbol. So let's switch back to where we were. And I'm going to undo everything. So we'll accept for our deletes. We won't undo that. So now instead of moving this one, I'm going to move this line. So again, I'm just going to kind of drag it out because it doesn't like to move at that small segment for some reason. And let's go ahead and check our units because I probably undid that as well. Okay, so now we'll dimension this one. And we'll just draw our line work again. Stretch this back, move our annotation over, and then we'll just go ahead and load it into the project, and we'll overwrite again. And now no matter which way, with the exception of diagonally, there's not really a good fix for that one, um, it will end up without a gap. So no matter which way you start it. And then, like I said, for the diagonal one, we end up with an issue not with the line that's attached so much, but that center line. So, there you go.